Hey guys, it's me again. We bring you guys a little game review. It's already two years late to start this game review, but whatever, I'll be bringing you a zoop. Modern Warfare 2. I'm be bringing you the multiplayer review, the story, single player campaign, um, review, and spec ops. So yeah, let's get started. Let's start off with the campaign. First off, you start off the game. Yeah, you. I believe. Yeah, you start off as uh, as Private Allen as an Army Rangers at somewhere. I don't know. I forgot. But you start off in the pit, which is which is basically a little training place where you. Um, first, they teach you how to use your weapons. But if you have Call of Duty Four or World at War. Then you know how to use the controls. You probably know that by now. But the campaign overall is excellent. I think it's a very, very good way to explain Call of Duty more often than it was in Call of Duty 4 and World at War. Well, I never, I never, I never had World at War. I saw the campaign on YouTube, but it's pretty good. This campaign is good, and but unfortunately. Roach ends up dying, Private Allen ends up dying, a lot of good characters end up dying, but the immortal Captain Price is still alive. Yes, that's good. It's always good. And people and Ghost. A lot of people are saying Ghost is dead, but the question is, is he dead, or is he alive, or he might come back in Modern Warfare 3 as a villain. We'll have to find out. Let's see if it's worth waiting two years for another Modern Warfare 3 game. So, the campaign overall is always very, very good. The action's good, the storyline's good, the soundtrack is awesome. I love the soundtrack so much. That's why when I just put where it says campaign review, it said it was playing the Spec Ops menu music. That is my best music in Modern Warfare 2. So, yeah. Next up, multiplayer. Okay, next up, the multiplayer. Probably the best thing ever in Modern Warfare 2. When I first started playing Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, I thought to myself, wow, Call of Duty has really outdone, it, outdone itself. The multiplayer is very awesome, but now in 2011, I started to realize the multiplayer is still very awesome overall. Overall, it's still very awesome. But unfortunately, there are some mishaps. For once, the kill streaks are too easy to get. Some of the perks are annoying. Death streaks are useless. Usually, and um, quick scoping. I'm not a fan of quick scoping. I personally suck at quick scoping. I'm not a huge fan of it. I really, 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 really suck at quick scoping. Even if I try with the intervention or 50 caliber, I still suck. That's why I don't like quick scoping. But overall, the multiplayer is fun. Everything's fun. The weapons, now the weapons. Basically, almost all these assault rifles are good enough to use. Well, except the F2000 and the um, what else? Well, basically almost any weapon is good to use. Except the WE2000, Dragon Off, obviously, the Dragon Off. For me, the M21 EBR, the F2000, the Mini Uzi, the P90. Yeah, P90. I'm not a huge fan of the P90. I think it really, 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 really sucks. 
that the worst weapon of all is a dragon off. It's terrible. I hate it. It's a terrible assault rifle. But like I said, overall, the multiplayer is very fun. The kill streaks are very fun to use. Especially the AC-130 and the chopper gunner. Those are good. Um, very good kill streaks to use. Actually, pretty fun. Very fun kill streaks. So, yeah. Last up Spec Ops. Finally, we reached up to the last part. Finally, we reached up to the last part. Spec Ops. Which is probably. And half and half okay, good mode. Basically, Spec Ops is just newer versions taken off from section points of the campaign mode and make it into little missions. But there are a few easy ones, and a few of them are really, really, really hard, and almost 75% are annoying. Like in the last part, there's high explosive. Armor piercing, um, wet work. I didn't get that. But those are annoying because they involve juggernauts. Juggernauts are annoying. And one of the harder ones is also um, Homeland Security, where you gotta defend, like, um, oh, you gotta stay alive for like five waves of enemies and vehicles for five waves. Best thing you can do is just put a sentry gun. And if you don't know where to put the sentry gun, just look up the gameplays at um YouTube, obviously. But um Spec Ops also overall is it's okay. It's not the best mode ever, but I still prefer the Black Ops Nazi Zombies mode. So yeah. That was Spec Ops. Now it's time for the verdict. Verdict time. Now, I would probably give this game about an eight and a half. It's from one to ten. Eight and a half. For a couple reasons. The multiplayer needs to quit the dead streaks, crappy perks, and dead streaks. Wait, did I see dead streaks? Who cares? The single player campaign can be a, should be a lot longer. Spec Ops needs to have more interesting missions is instead of like repeating the same thing from the campaign and just doing it as a mission so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this review for Modern Warfare 2 see you all in some other video but yeah eight and a half that's what I get this game alright bye